guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup how I do my like not every day because I don't do my makeup every day but if you hear the music in the background I'm gonna try my best to like talk over it because I'm not trying to get copyrighted but yeah um my mom will turn on the music so yeah they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it but i'm gonna do my hair first but i'm gonna do it off camera and then i'll be back so we're gonna do a transition okay okay wait 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 it's gonna be like it's gonna be like now i am back i kind of just did my hair in braids my edges are marinating right now so while my edges are marinating i'm going to do my eyebrows first things first i'm gonna go in with my handy dandy curl cortisone 10 and i'm going to put it all over my face <laughs> Next, I just put some regular um, sunscreen on. Mostly when I put makeup on, I'm going somewhere. I don't know, I'll just put it on just in case if it's like hot outside or if it's like the sun's just really out that day and I don't want to get dark, dark. So, yeah. <laughs> so oily. I don't think I started all the sunscreen. It's just the banana sport one. Now I'm gonna go in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder. Pretty sure everyone in the world has this or have used it before. And I pat my face down because it's oily now. So like, I, I don't want it to be oily when I apply the rest of if that makes sense. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And since you know for probably one of my previous videos, I use eyeliner. Yeah, um, I just want to say that I'm gonna have a video later today explaining how I do my eyebrows because since a lot of people ask me how I do my eyebrows So there's really no point of you seeing it in this video when you're gonna see it in the next so Make sure you're subscribed and have that bell on so you know when I post that video Yeah, bye Look at my eyebrows. I like them. They're so nice <laughs> After I do my eyebrows, I take this really light color. I don't really know what color it actually is, but I don't really know what it is either. I had it for a while now. I use this for under my eyebrows, and I also use this for like color correcting on my face because I do have dark spots, especially around my eyes. So, yeah. I just put it on my hands sometimes, for my eyebrows at least, when I'm trying to uh, make them look good and sharper. And then when I put it everywhere on my face, I just dot it over, so... stupid I'm going to use my regular concealer for the top of my eyebrows I'm gonna do what I did with the light concealer and just put it on my hand So now for the foundation, I use the Matte Poreless Normally Oily Foundation. I don't know if you can see that. And it's in the color 356. Um, I'm not sure if this is my exact color, but I mean, it, it kind of looks great, I guess. Like, on my skin, I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't. This is close, but I'm not sure if it's, like, right, you know? Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. I should have took this off. Let me take it off. I forgot. My edges are done marinating. Uh -huh. I feel like it looks too yellow and I need to go like probably a little bit darker. But in, at the same time, I don't know. So help me out with that. I'm going to use the same concealer I use above my eyebrows, which is just Milani Perfect Concealer. And I don't put a lot of concealer if I'm trying to do something like a little bit natural. I just put like. 
that much. Sometimes a little bit more because I'm extra. That's not the middle of my nose. Yeah, you call it. What's wrong with you? Oh, Get out. I thought you were crying. <laughs> Yo. Get out. This is embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing. I use a, a dark liquid foundation from Avalon. Not Avalon. It's Avon. Wow. I use a, a foundation. It's really dark. I used to use it for when I was like really dark and really tan during band camp. So I just like use it. But now I use it for my contour color because I'm more lighter now. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Well, I just take this and I put it on my hand and then I just dab it on there. See, I try on my nose, but it, I don't know, it just never works. Like, I'm not good at that part, so I... Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry if I like, if it looks so bad. I be trying, I tell y'all, I be trying, you know? It just don't always work out the way I want to, but I do try. Now I'm gonna use my white translucent powder and I'm gonna use that for the bottom of my chin like not the bottom of my chin but like you know to sculpt out the I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it like the cool blue light. now I gotta put it under my eye like the cool blue light <laughs> Now I'm going to go with this umbrella looking brush and I'm going to just go into my highlighter. It's from the same company as my concealer. From Milani. So I need to do my lips. Now I'm going to go with my Hard Candy Longwear Setting Spray. I'm not sure if you can see that again. Now I'm not perfect. Again, I am still learning. Um, This is kind of not really hard, but it's just like, I don't know how to explain it. So yeah, this is uh was highly requested from a lot of you guys from Instagram and uh, TikTok and Snapchat too. By the way, if you do not follow me on all those social medias, those will be the link down below. Because you gotta follow me on Snapchat at least. On Twitter too. I mean, but we're not really a fan of Twitter, but y'all can follow me on Twitter, you know. Y'all can follow me on Snapchat too. Because, like, I'm pretty funny on Snapchat. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. That translucent powder is really annoying me right now. I hope you guys really like it. And if you do, make sure you give this video a big fat thick thumbs up. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you are notified whenever I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, until then, bye guys.